in terms of the question of faith and reason, the relationship of faith and reason according to C.S. Lewis, uh, he of course would not in his mature Christian philosophical and theological understanding say that they are opposed. And um, I think one good way of, of looking at the relation of faith and reason that is fair to Lewis is to say that reason is a God-given capacity for seeking truth, that we have an obligation to uh, pursue truth. There's nothing wrong with asking questions and investigating. And yet, um, when we come to believe something is true, that is not the whole of Christian faith, even to believe, let's say, the Nicene Creed, which is what Lewis is always alluding to as the essence of orthodoxy or mere Christianity. And then uh, our faith has a target. It has a way of, of hitting the target better if our beliefs are clearer and more accurate. But um, uh, they're certainly not opposed to one another. So faith is not in some ways a uh, another source of truth so much as it is uh, personal trust and reliance on God exercised within the framework of what we come to believe is true. And if we don't believe Christianity is true, we should not exercise faith. And Lewis is very clear about that. And because we need to be intellectually converted as part of our total conversion. And I think that's very fair, um, very fair as an explanation of how Lewis would view faith and reason.